He's one of the most high-profile, richest Russians to publicly condemn the Ukraine war. The billionaire who founded the Tinkoff Bank, one of Russia's biggest lenders, now renouncing his Russian citizenship, a major slap to the Kremlin's face. He's even posted the termination document online, along with scathing criticism of the Russian state. I can't and won't be associated with a fascist country, Tinkoff wrote on his Instagram page. A country that started a war with their peaceful neighbour. And he went even further, calling on other wealthy Russians to also leave the country behind. I hope more prominent Russian businessmen will follow me, Tinkoff writes, so it weakens Putin's regime and his economy and puts him eventually towards defeat. The post was quickly deleted, which Tinkoff blames on Kremlin trolls. It's not the first time Tinkoff has publicly criticised Putin and his Ukrainian conflict. But these almost daily scenes of violence and its horrors seem to have galvanised the billionaire. Back in May, Tinkoff, who's suffering from cancer, spoke of how his own fight for survival made it impossible to stay silent in the face of so much killing. You see kids, women, people dying for nothing, being murdered by someone. I mean, the Russian army is killing them for nothing. You can die from cancer, but why should you die from a bomb just because you live in Ukraine? This is messed up, especially in the 21st century. Of course, there have been other prominent Russian billionaires who criticize the Ukraine war. Even Oleg Deripaska, a metals magnate known to be close to Putin, has called it a colossal mistake, though stopping short of blaming the Kremlin. Get lost, please. And earlier this month, another billionaire investor, Yuri Milner, said he renounced his Russian passport too. Tinkoff, seen here in London, where despite British sanctions, he still spends much of his time, says he only ever met Putin once for a beer more than 20 years ago. But he says he hates Putin's Russia and is now severing himself from it altogether over what he calls Putin's crazy war.